We still here. Still waiting on the baby. Here we go. Ready? I'm trying to be. What a day. Who would have thought that we'd be in a hospital today? I kind of predicted this because I told her like, I have a doctor's appointment Thursday. I had I had a flight to catch today at 9 p.m., which I would have had to get at the airport at 6:30. Um, right now it's 2:45, so I basically had to rebook my flight for tomorrow because my oldest son graduates tomorrow to go to high school. So I don't want to miss that, but. My wife had a doctor's appointment today. She's right now, you what, 38 weeks? 37 weeks. She's at 37 weeks and six days. So we had a little time until the baby was actually supposed to come, but when she went to the doctor this morning, the doctor told her like, you not have no pain, no pressure, you're not feeling anything. My wife's like, no. So the doctor tells her like, yo, you're six centimeters right now. You need to go across the street and get checked into the, into the room. So when she called and told me that I was actually at the airport picking up her mom, cause she was gonna be here to kind of stand in to help us out with me going to Buffalo and the kids need somebody to watch them. So I'm in the, me and her, me and her mom in the car, coming from the airport, I get a call from my wife. She looked right at the screen and was like, we got a problem. I'm six centimeters. I gotta get go to the doctor right now. So I rush home. I drop Mom Dukes off, drop the kids off, get her mommy bag, and I headed straight to the hospital. Now we're on a waiting game, waiting for the baby to arrive. My wife is currently bouncing on the ball. That's probably the squeaking sound that you guys hear in the back. She's trying to push the baby down a little more, so we're waiting. I'm trying to see if I if I would have made. Nah, nah, forget that. The rebook was a great idea because I didn't want to miss this moment. I was hoping that she would wait until I got back, but I kind of predicted that she was gonna come the day that I was supposed to leave. So we're waiting, man. Stay tuned. Ready? Ready for what? Are you about to record? Ready for this baby. Oh. I ain't got no choice. <laughs> she bouncing on the bar right now. Oh, pressure is filled. Contraction. <laughs> she on the way, son. She said she ain't got no time to wait. <laughs> she could have waited till Sunday. She's like, nah, not today, again. Daddy to be here. Look at her compromising. Right, already. <laughs> How you feeling? Like, I got a ball in my butt. <laughs> like, you got a boo boo? <laughs> she making her way down, man. It's almost time. Doctor should be back in soon. He was at six centimeters probably about an hour ago. Doctor's gonna come back and check her out. So, we gonna see. Let's pray for seven centimeters. We gonna get the epidural. We still here. Still waiting on the baby. It is now 6.30. I think we got um, maybe about a good hour. I said 7.45, she should be here. My wife's contractions is like back to back now. She got her epidural. So right now we're just waiting on the doctor to come back to check how far along she is. Last time she checked, she was six centimeters. I think when she come back, she gonna be about eight centimeters because she's feeling a lot of pressure down below. So we gonna see. 
7.45, I said the baby will be here. It's 6.32. My wife said 7.38. Some weird number, but we gonna see. Well, it is now uh, 8.16, as you can see in the background no baby so it looks like myself and my wife was incorrect i guess this baby just feel like she gonna come whenever she ready like don't rush me don't do none of that stuff you're doing don't predict my time don't do nothing cuz we still waiting she's dropping lower she's coming down slowly um I want to say maybe another couple of hours, but I'm hoping for like another 20 minutes or something. Just ready for her to get here so we can see her, see what she looks like, see how much she look like me, of course, because pretty much all my kids look like me. So, um, still waiting. It's almost over, man. If you in pain, you need to click that button though. Here. Some water. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so she decides to order food. <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh. I keep telling her to click the button. She acting she trying to fight it, man. Tell her to click the button, man. Click the button. Oh my goodness. Contractions, man, it's getting real. Click the button. I'm about to come over there and click it myself. Tell them to send Stephanie in, please. Oh, can you send my nurse in, please? Can she bring something for you? Um, no, I don't need anything. I do have a question. Because I'm, I'm on the, the epidural, but like I'm literally feeling my contractions. I don't know if I'm supposed to or if something is fine. Well, like I was saying, she decides to order DoorDash on a scheduled time. Thinking that she could predict. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking that she could predict where everything is gonna happen. It is now 9.02, her food comes at 9.45. Now, what happens if you gotta start pushing at 9.30, son? I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna run out and get the food? No, you gotta tell them to bring it to the desk. What did you schedule on a DoorDash? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Now what? Oh, I gotta stop it out for me. Are you? 